As a follow-up to my East Coast synthesis video, I will demonstrate a basic patch and suggest a set of modules to get started with a West Coast synth in this video. West Coast synthesis is strongly associated with Don Buchler, who manufactured his synth in the San Francisco area, and actually he still does. So we are at the US West Coast. Don Buchler and Bob Moog worked in the same era of emerging electronic instruments, though 3000 miles apart and without knowing from each other for quite some time. Buchler's concept was radically different compared to the well-known East Coast concept. The East Coast concept tried to mimic real-world instruments and usually used a keyboard to control the synthesizer. And we can see this setup here, which also uses a keyboard and this Behringer clone of a Moog Model D. Musicians who learned a conventional instrument like a piano will be immediately familiar with this East Coast subtractive concept. The West Coast concept, on the other hand, interprets the synthesizer as a new and self-confident way of music creation. And this incorporates the lack of a classic keyboard and, for example, new ways to include uncertainty and auto-generated melodies, like sample and hold circuits, random voltages and step sequencers. Another very important element is the wave folder and frequency or amplitude modulation in the audio range. Many West Coast synths are based on additive synthesis, which means that the sound creation starts with a simple sound like a sine wave and then we add harmonics by wave folding or modulation. This is the opposite to subtractive synthesis, which removes harmonics from a rich bass sound like a saw or square wave using low pass filters. Additive synth also use filters mostly in form of low pass gates, which combine low pass filters and VCAs in one unit and are usually controlled by vectors, which results in a smooth and natural character. Suggesting a basic West Coast patch is not that easy because West Coast synthesis is so diverse. I decided to put a few typical elements together and we'll see what comes out. I oriented myself on the Music Easel, the famous portable Buchla synth. I have the Arturia software emulation of the Easel here, well, at least the demo version, which runs for 20 minutes, so I have to hurry up. And my plan is now to use the Easel as a guideline to reconstruct the basic elements of a West Coast synth using the Döpfer A100. Well, the first thing we see is that the Easel actually has a keyboard, but this keyboard can be used very flexible and is not hardwired to the pitch of this instrument. Those who come from the modular world will find this mildly interesting, but those who stuck to a classic instrument until now will be literally shocked by this radically new concept, where the keyboard does not control the pitch of the instrument. The two most important components are the oscillators here. and. This one is called Complex Oscillator and the other one here is the Modulation Oscillator. So we are in the Frequency Modulation world. The Complex Oscillator is the primary audio source and delivers a sine wave and a blendable more complex waveform and we can choose between pulse, square and triangle here. The sine wave itself is quite boring as we know because it has no harmonics and only the fundamental frequency. To change this, we can put it through a wave folder, and the wave folder basically boosts the incoming sine wave and folds its upper and lower peaks back down or back up, respectively adding harmonics in this way. This folding can be done several times to receive a very rich sound, though this sound is very different compared to the uh, saw or square waves that we know from the subtractive synthesis. We can interpret the wave folder as an inverted low pass filter, since it adds harmonics while the low pass filter removes them. This timbre control here sets the amount of wave folding and it can of course be modulated by certain voltages. So let's connect the sequencer here.
this modulation oscillator can be used to modulate the amplitude or the frequency of the complex oscillator. Or we can also mix it directly to our output. It offers source, square and triangle wave and let's use it to modulate the frequency of the complex oscillator. filters, the so-called low-pass gates, and as I said, this is a combination of low-pass filter and VCA. And we can use the envelope here to control these low-pass gates. features random voltage sources and a pulse which is basically a voltage controllable pulse wave LFO. And then we have this attack sustain release envelope. The sound spectrum is super versatile and it goes from tamed and soft to out of control killing robot in no time. Oops, time's up, so let's now try to recreate this with the Döpfer A100. At first we have this complex oscillator here, for example by combining a standard VCO or this 110-6 and a wave folder. We can already achieve this wave folding of the sine wave and create this very typical wave folding sound. Let's feed the result through the low pass gate and use a sequencer to modulate the amount of wave folding.
well, it's not the easel, but it definitely goes into the right direction. Let's now take a second VCO and use it to modulate the first one, like we did in the easel before. And we can also blend the other waveforms from the 110-6 and also from our modulation oscillator into the mix. Döpfer also offers this fancy Buchler style random voltage source, so let's use this to modulate the pitch of the modulation VCO. Again, it's not the easel and again, it's only one way of creating a West Coast synth. And there are many others. To sum this up, the basic setup of two VCOs, a wave folder, a low pass gate and a modulation source gives us a rudimentary starter pack for West Coast sounds. And this is only scratching the surface as the possibilities are nearly endless. If you come from the modular world, you don't have to worry about East Coast or West Coast synths, you can do anything in between. And of course you can also create any outside-the-box ideas that follow no classic school of synthesis. Let's now switch to some more sounds using this Dubfer A100 in a West Coast style approach. At this point, thanks for watching and stay tuned.